The Hoppy and Super Rich Show. Hoppy and Super Rich. Only on WNUR 89.3 FM. I'm Ryan Hoppy. I'm Ryan Stuppridge, and our phone screener is Mark. What up, Mark? What's up? No much, man. Great to hear. All right. So we have news as we got it loaded up. It says here, New Jersey teen brought heroin to a court hearing. That's awful. What a moron. So what does it say? A court appearance on Wednesday ended in an arrest for one New Jersey teen who is accused of bringing more than 40 bags of heroin to his meeting. <laughs> that's a, 40 that's bags? an awful lot. Like, is he just trying to get, like, caught? Is this like prison break where Michael Schofield was trying to go to prison to break out his brother? Like, when you're bringing 40 bags of heroin, not even weed, a hard drug like heroin to a court hearing? <laughs> well, he wasn't planning on doing it all either, there, was he? <laughs> you're either a moron. You're either planning on doing it there to be reckless, or yes. you just want to go to jail for a reason. Like, I, I guess he thought up. it was funny. I don't know. Maybe he forgot he had it. <laughs> yeah, he's such I, a, oh, oh, that? I, I forgot I had 40 packs of heroin in my pants. Like, oh, yeah. Bulging out of his pocket. <laughs> yeah. I thought those were all my groceries I that in my pocket. Like, he just doesn't know what's in there. Like, oh, that's where the heroin was. <laughs> so... Police said Timon Molly, 18. Molly? Or, Molly. Like, yeah. Who was slated to appear around uh, 2.15 p.m. before a judge at the township of Hamilton Municipal Court in Mays Landing. This is in uh, Pennsylvania. It looks like maybe a suburb of Philly. Uh, court, court officers said they smelled a strong odor of marijuana e- emanating from the teen and launched an investigation unrelated to the original court matter. Police originally found Molly to be in possession of 43 bags of heroin and over $400 in cash. Dude, that's like a really long jail sentence if he's found guilty. I feel like 43 bags of heroin is a lot. And he had over 400 bucks in cash, which will make them think that he's a big-time dealer if you have that much money on your yeah. cash. This guy's a moron. Like This guy will probably get jail time. Like that's How could he not be found guilty? Like They yeah, have to like... really mess that up. <laughs> yeah, you just would have to be in, like, Florida where they allow murderers to get off. But then again, if this was in Florida, they'd let him get off, but then George Zimmerman and that bitch Casey Anthony would get good off because <laughs> murder is so much better than heroin, I guess. Right, and so what else and obviously saying? killing a child is okay, right, in, yeah, in Florida? Yeah, but doing drugs is bad. So go on. <laughs> uh, court, oh, I already read that. Um, Molly is charged with possession of heroin and possession with the intent to distribute he was jailed Thursday at the Atlantic County. Jeez. On fifteen thousand buck bail. Oh, that yeah. seems pretty small. O- o- only uh, fifteen thousand dollars. Because then yeah. that means it's just fifteen hundred. It's like ten percent of it. I've never gone to jail. I've just heard. Trust me. That's like worth all his prostitutes. Yeah. He's like a pimp, you know, probably. I got what you did there. You don't need to explain. <laughs> I got Dude, it. We got it. I can define the word pimp and prostitute. Go on. <laughs> give, us a, give us a lesson real quick with grammar. We Go don't on. need Urban Dictionary. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Just teach us. Because there might be people out there listening to WNUR that don't know what a pimp is. Go well, on. A pimp kind of <laughs> sells and distributes his whore. Yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, what is a whore? legs open and then they make money. Because she does things for money. <laughs> this segment is going places. Mm-hmm. Kind of like my radio career. All right. So what else does it say here? Man gets 14 years for lazing helicopter. And it is a police helicopter. Mark, could you ever see yourself doing this? As someone who is really naughty and outrageous, could you ever see yourself pointing a laser pointer at a helicopter? That's, like, on my to-do list. Then don't Dude, do it. That's, like, number <laughs> three on my bucket list. <laughs> You'll get 14 years in jail, man. Don't do it. I'm gonna. A Central Valley <laughs> man who shined a laser pointer at a police helicopter two years ago was sentenced to 14 years in prison Monday. It, As- took, 14, it took two years to finish this case out? Well, they yeah. had to find, like, a law that it but broke. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> right? It's two years As- of battle. It's, true. it's like, wait, 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 wait. That doesn't seem so bad. I feel like whenever you mess with cops, like let's say you're to get in a car crash and you're to like paralyze a cop, they'll give you total time or something like this. I feel like if this were a normal helicopter, it wouldn't be as bad. Right. The fact that it was involved with cops, us cops have to defend other cops. It's that whole (laughs) attitude. It's annoying. 14 years for that. And a murder can get seven years or pedophiles can get six. What the hell? And 14 years, a stiff sentence that comes during a national crack. On the national crackdown on 
uh, lazing aircraft authority says. So I guess this is more common than we think. I don't know. In handing down the penalty, U.S. District Judge Lawrence O'Neill uh, said distracting pilots with lasers in a serious offense with potentially deadly consequences. And the federal uh, the Federal Aviation Administration counted uh, over <coughs> 4,000 reports of aiming people lasers at aircraft in 2013, or about 11 incidents per day. That's a lot. Eleven incidents. <laughs> Eleven people pointer? point a laser pe- pointer at somewhere every day. I guess I just don't like Man. messing with cops. Like I don't even like getting pulled over by them because just there's no reason to be in contact with those douchebags. So why would you want to point a laser at them? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. You have to think have you're to above the law. Yeah, that's true. Like maybe this guy who went to jail will set a precedent for people not to mess with them, not to point lasers at them. There's no reason to put yourself in that situation. Ever, like, why would you want to get into contact with a cop? Yeah, I, I didn't I don't even know. like going through the DUI checkpoint today in Niles, even though I wasn't drunk, even though my car was completely clean. You would find nothing in there. I'm just saying, there's no reason to interact with them. They can make up charges. So why would you point a laser pointer? The dude just got 14 years. What a moron! <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Jelly Bean. Okay. What else? Is <laughs> Police and medical response helicopters are among the most vulnerable to the distraction because they fly at low elevations. Can you imagine how annoyed they must have been? Yeah. Like you're trying to find some car chase because this is in California or something. Right. You're trying to look for something and there's some douchebag. I'm going to point my laser pointer at him. And they're like, what the hell? Is that a Gun beam? Oh, no, it's a laser pointer by some dumb pothead. If it's so common, I wonder if, like, more than one guy will be, like, doing the same helicopter. And he'll be like, oh, my God, <laughs> did somebody beat me to this? Yeah. <laughs> the guy's 26 years old. So, like, 14 years, you're not getting out until you go through your midlife crisis at age 40. Like, he will have 14 years unless he gets out early. I'm just thinking, why the hell? Why the F did I point a laser at a cop? Like, was it really worth it? I don't think so. Me neither. I so, don't think it's a fair sentence because nobody knows that that's even a law or what it. Could I think be. you need to be. Informed. It just there's something called your gut that tells you not to do it. But that doesn't say 14 years. That's like a five minute timeout. But you can't say that. Yeah. It's not a cr- <laughs> it's a decent point. It just. This is definitely the cops trying to set a precedent. Don't mess with us. We're cops. We have authorities. Ugh, enough of you. <laughs> so anyway, these two people were convicted of using a high-powered laser pointer to strike the cockpits of a Fresno police helicopter and a hospital transport helicopter near the Fresno Yosemite International Airport in summer of 2012. Uh, crew members on both flights testified that the laser interfered with their vision. And then uh, it just sort of goes on to say a couple quotes. And... Uh, one of the people faces up to five years in prison at her sec- at her sentencing, which is scheduled for May. Judge O'Neill cited Rodriguez's criminal past, which includes probation violations and gang affiliation, as additional reasons for the sentence. So the so I mean, this is a bad person anyway, but still, I mean, fourteen years for just you he know. He doesn't sound pointing. that bad. I'm not saying he's a good person because he's not. Cause he's in a gang and he's broken his probation, but it's just like gang violations. Like that could be something like wearing your gang clothes in public. Or dealing. Like, it doesn't say murder or yeah. domestic abuse or coke dealing. Like, it's probably just being in a gang in public at the wrong time. Mm-hmm. Like, he's not that bad of a dude. Like, I'm not saying I want to be friends with this scumbag. I'm just saying you're acting like he's some guy from Sons of Anarchy that kills people behind the scenes. Yeah, I, I agree with that. This is just, he will regret it because he's got 14 years of his life gone, including all his young years in the 20s and 30s. Right. Hopefully he gets out. This is a waste of jail space. It is. This is a pathetic. Everybody at that jail is probably pretty excited. They're getting a nice new young bitch. And, <laughs> yeah. Bubba. Hey, man. Bend over right How you now. Doing? Hey, buddy. Did you hear Why about don't you bend over? <laughs> I was going to try and do a voice, but then I realized I'm not talented. So what else does it say there? Well, that, that's pretty much all it says about the article. It's just, you know. Pretty much, it sort of ends with them saying what they do, yeah. which doesn't make much sense. But yeah, has a laser pointer ever been pointed at you? Uh, Are you a cop and you're listening? Call us, yeah. Mark. What's the number? It is eight four seven eight six six nine six eight seven. That's eight four seven eight six six W N U R because we are on W N U R. Obviously. Well, it looks like police arrested Willard K through eight school fill-in teacher John Jeremy 
<laughs> cool name, on an assault charge Friday after he allegedly spanked a child and caused a major injury Tuesday. If you were a parent, would you want a teacher spanking your kid? No. Yes. <laughs> I don't think so. It depends on what Maybe a ruler to the hands. Like there a needs to be some type of contact because the kids run the class now. That I used know. to be common in like the 40s, though. Yeah, it, it was. It, and look at I, our I, parents. And look at our grandparents. Corporal punishment was good. Yeah, look at our parents and look at our grandparents. They have their crap together. Look at us. We're a bunch of YOLO douchebags that are soft like Drake. Again, you used to look YOLO twice in this show. Because everyone says oh, it. Oh, man. All my friends are Nobody really show. says YOLO anymore. That That's so like 2011. 2012, actually. Yeah, 2012. Females who have had too much to drink. YOLO. YOLO! I just went down on four frat guys. <laughs> YOLO! I wish I was one of those four. Anyway. Wow, you didn't fall <laughs> desperate or anything. According to Warren <laughs> City Schools Superintendent Superintendent Michael Notar, two boys were fighting in a gym class when Jeremy separated two of them and spanked one of them. What are you doing when you're a, you're one of the subs? You're not even a main teacher and you're spanking somebody? Yeah. Like, if you're a teacher that has good time there, like more than 10 years where they can't fire you, then maybe, maybe I would see it. But we live in such an uptight America society. Everyone's a bunch of pussies. We can't even touch the kid. Like, right. I just touched Ryan. Now he has the right to sue me. Like, it's just like... I do? Do you think you're going to be uh, okay. able to get away with this? Like, what is your agenda when you're spanking the kids? This isn't 1960 anymore. You can't get away with that. His, yeah. defense, his defense should be like, I could have done worse things. <laughs> I could have been a pedophile. I could have punched him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Notar said Jeremy is not allowed to work in the Willard K-8 building and that he informed the Trumbull County Educational Service Center about the incident. And if you can move it down, I can figure out where this is. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure where this it's is. It's over with. The article's over Oh, with. okay. But does anybody say where this is? I feel like it's in the South for some reason. Read I just feel comment. like it's something the South would do. Read this comment by Ed Hughes. Oh, we're not supposed to say his name, though, are we? It's an anonymous account. It's oh. oh, yeah, look at that. Go on. This is what really is needed in schools today. It's too bad some parent got his or her partner's, or no, got his or her's panties in a wad over, and his panties in a bunch, not wad over when it I when I was in school what are you uh, for this norm. It's it's <laughs> this, this quote's hard to read because he's not using any uh, periods or anything. What it's, the hell ever happened to grammar? I don't know. Me Here, let me start over and read this because I, I have to figure out where the punctuation errors are. This this what really is needed in schools today. <laughs> It's too bad some parent got his or her panties in a wad over it. When I was in school, this this the norm. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Someone from 1940 who didn't actually learn anything. We yeah. didn't have kids shooting up schools back then either, not like today. That's a horrible comparison, by well, the way. Well, <laughs> you wouldn't shoot up a school because you were scared you'd get spanked. Yeah. It, it, spanking has nothing to do with people shooting schools. What an imbecile. Of course, this guy was anonymous. What a moron. Happy and Super Rich Show. Happy and Super Rich. Only on WNUR 89.3 FM.